Miss Roof, hello, all the way from Costa Rica. It's Joey. Last time I think you saw me, I probably had hair, but don't anymore. Um, when I heard that you were retiring, I knew that I needed to be a part of, of your celebration, uh, of celebrating the, the work that you have done uh, at St. David's to uh, put a smile on everyone's face, to help those that needed help, to welcome everyone onto campus and into the building. Um, you know, for 12 years, I got to be part of St. David's and I can't think of a world uh, and of a St. David's without Miss Roof, but all things have to come to, to an end. And uh, Miss Roof, you deserve retirement. You deserve the time to just enjoy, sit back and relax and just spend time with your family, with your kids and your grandkids, uh, who I know that you love very, very, very much. Um, you've treated each of us, uh, both faculty and staff and students as one of your own kids. Um, at least that's what I felt for 12 years while I was there. And so um, I'm so happy for you. I'm so uh, sad that I can't be there to give you a hug, um, but I'm there in spirit and giving you a hug. Uh, may God bless you uh, in this next chapter of your life. And, um, and I hope to see you soon at some point uh, when we return to Raleigh. So congratulations on your retirement, Miss Roof. Love you. And um, yeah, enjoy, enjoy retirement. Bye-bye. Hi, Miss Ruth. News of your retirement made it to Florida, and Emery and I are honored to be a part of your celebration. Can you imagine the number of times you've answered the phone and said, St. David's School, or the number of times you've checked a student in or out? You've touched so many lives in all the years that you've spent at the school. You are more than just the eyes and the ears. You are the heart and the soul. You listen with patience, Respond with kindness, and that makes you the person that you are. You are going to have a lot of free time now. What could Miss Ruth do? Um, she could hang out with her friends and spend time with some of her family. Excellent ideas. So we hope that your retirement is full of those things. Spending time with your favorite people. I hope there's lots of laughter, good health, and if your adventures lead you all the way to Florida, you better call us. We'd love to see you. We miss you. All the best to you as you make this transition to retirement. Bye. Hey, Miss Ruth. You know, I am someone who likes to get to know other people, and you were always such a great example of that for me. Thank you for knowing people so well over these last 33 years. And for the many who are just blessed to know you, we wish you all the best. Thank you, Mrs. Ruth, for being a part of our family, for being at the school when I was there, and with these two, we have something we like to say. Thank you, Mrs. Ruth. We miss you. I did a hiccup. Enjoy your well-earned <laughs> retirement. Well done, Mrs. Ruth. You made every student feel as though he or she was your favorite. May the Lord bless you in your retirement. Love from all the buns. Becky Ruth. I want to celebrate your retirement. I wish I could be there in person uh, to give you a hug and a congratulatory uh, remark in person. I really appreciated your years as my administrative assistant for uh, keeping me on track uh, as the uh, quintessential absent-minded professor. I needed someone like you to keep my calendar. Uh, but more than that, the, the thing I most appreciated about you was your discernment. Uh, when I would interview people, and we interviewed a lot of candidates for various positions, uh, they would often start out in the waiting room, sitting there with you, and uh, even if it was just for a few minutes, you would engage them in conversation, and you would make a conclusion based on that brief conversation that I learned to trust. And so after my interview, I, off, I always asked you the question, what did you think of the person? And you always gave me a straight answer. The answer was either, I don't like that person, or it was, I really like that person. And again, I learned how to trust your instincts. 
So I hope you enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. May it be long and filled with adventure and family. All right, we love you, Becky. And I wish I could be there in person to say, well done. Well, you already know how I feel about your retirement. One, I am so glad that you waited until Parker and Sydney were gone before you left because I really wouldn't have wanted to be at St. David's without you. Two, I am selfishly happy that now you'll have time to visit me in Georgia. I know this has been a really hard decision for you as you've spent so much of your life serving the families and the staff at St. David's. Just know that you are irreplaceable in all of our hearts. You are the embodiment of all that is good. You quickly became everyone's mother, grandmother, and friend. You have literally been the hands and feet of Jesus. Thank you for answering his call on your life to serve and be the face of St. David's School. But most importantly, for being such an important part of my children's lives and of mine. I love you, I am happy for you, and I can't wait for you and I to sit on the beach, drink a Coke, and eat some boiled peanuts. Enjoy your celebration, you deserve it. Hey, Miss Ruth, congrats on your retirement. That's exciting. Um, St. David's won't be the same without you. I know when I think St. David's, I just think Becky Ruth, but excited for you and can't wait to see you. Becky, I hope you know just how much you are cherished and appreciated by the Coker family. Sending you oodles of love from Neil, Burgess, Cameron, Chase, and especially me. Hi, Mrs. Roof. I really don't want to think about you not being at that front desk, but it does remind me of a conversation we had there many years ago. When someone close to us was leaving, you said, I've seen a lot of people come and go over the years, but because God's in control, it always works out. Well, now it's your turn, and I know it's going to work out. And that being said, uh, you will be sorely missed, but never forgotten. Thank you for the investment that you've made in our community. We are excited for you and your family, and we will look forward to seeing you when you come back around. Thanks again. Take care, and God bless you. Hey, Miss Roof, I can't believe you're leaving St. David's. The school will not be the same without you. Uh, I still remember my first homecoming when I was 33 years old, my first year as a head of school. Uh, you took such good care of me. Uh, back when we had homecoming uh, during basketball season, and sitting down the front row at the packed gym, uh, you coaching me how to give the flowers to the homecoming queen. Uh, you were just such a gift to me in so many ways like that, uh, just helping me through uh, my six years uh, at St. Timothy's Hale and then St. David's, and just what a blessing you've been to so many students uh, over the years, so many faculty and staff. I know you're gonna be greatly missed, and I just wanted to tell you how much uh, God used you in my life and how thankful I am for you. God bless you in this new season. Greetings to you, Becky Ruth, from the wine country of Northern California. I heard through the grapevine that you are moving on after 33 years. What a blessing you have been to St. David's School. I remember, Becky, when I moved you from the upper school office to the Welcome Center. You were none too happy. But look what has happened lo these many years. You have been the perfect person to welcome everybody to St. David's School each and every day. Parents, alumni, faculty, there's nobody better than Becky Ruth. 33 years, Becky, what a blessing. God bless you and cheers to you, Becky, from Northern California, the wine country.